sure you've heard the story of the elephant who was tied to an 18 inch stake in the ground. I'm pretty sure that's more than 18 inch stakes. But anyway, this massive creature capable of pulling down entire trees with one tug stood confined, held captive by a puny 18 inch stake in the ground. How could that be? because the elephant had tried to break free when he was a baby and he couldn't. So he assumed all these years later that he could never break free. So he didn't even try. Well, I'm Terry Savelle Foy, your cheerleader of dreams. And I wanna talk to you today about a 30 day reset. The six daily habits that can help you break free from a rut, from a plateau, and truly change your life the way they did mine. You know, maybe, like the elephant, you've tried to change your habits and get ahead and nothing really changed. Maybe you've assumed that you'll never be disciplined in certain areas. Let me just say, you've grown. You're getting the wisdom now. You have the strength now. You have the determination now to break free and live your dreams. You're not that baby elephant anymore. You know, I heard T.D. Jake say, your decisions determine your destiny. Well, I wanna help you make a decision today that you're gonna take on this 30 day reset and see what God can do in one month's time. Oh, and for the last time, I wanna do a giveaway of my habits calendar. Now, this is the last time I'm doing this, but this is my habits calendar that will help you so much with your 30 day reset. That's why I custom designed it based on how I needed a tool to help me develop discipline. So for the last week, I wanna do this giveaway to three people today. All you have to do is three things. Number one, subscribe to this channel. You can push the little play button right now and get that one over with. Number two, follow me on Instagram. And number three, post a photo of this podcast on your Instagram story. And don't forget to tag me at Terry Savelle Foy. Got it? Subscribe to this channel, follow me on Instagram, and post a photo of this podcast and tag me in it. Okay, I'm gonna look through all the tags today and choose three winners and I've told you before, I love seeing your stories. I love reading your DMs. So I'm gonna choose three winners and I signed them all. So, okay, back to our topic. Brian Tracy teaches that there are three essential conditions for change. Number one, you must sincerely want to change. Desire, right? Desire is the number one motivating factor behind the change you wanna see. Number two, you must be willing to change. There's nothing more powerful than a person's will. And number three, you must be willing to make effort. You know, I heard someone say the one thing that separates winners from losers more than anything else is winners take action. So what are the six daily habits you should take action on? And by the way, I put these in your free download this week, plus the four bonus habits of the most successful people in the world. You're gonna love it. So just click the link in the description to get that free download. Okay, number one is you plan your day the night before. Now this will alleviate stress and anxiety and actually improve your sleep. Never go to bed without planning the next day. You know, it's so important that you get everything out of your head and on paper. And when you wake up, you just hit the ground running. Instead of just wondering what's gonna happen today, no, you have a plan. Don't rely on memory. If you make a list of all the things you have to do, no matter how small, you're gonna feel so much more accomplished at the end of the day when you check those items off your list and move on to the next one. Plus, our flesh loves check marks. You know, according to Thomas Corley, he's the author of Rich Habits. He discovered 81% of the wealthiest people in the world maintain a to-do list and only 19% of the poor. So just get into a habit of making a list and writing everything down. Number two, Write your dreams and goals. You know, if there's one habit that I'm known for more than anything, it's probably this one. Write your dreams and goals. It's a clear key to success. Now, if everyone seems to agree on this, why are only three out of every 100 adults writing their goals on paper? I don't know. I think that what's easy to do is also easy not to do, but the 3% who do this are the most successful people in the world. Isn't that crazy? Well, I was listening to a TED Talk on the topic of regret. So Cornell University back in 1986 interviewed 600 people in their 70s on the topic of regret. They wanted to understand which caused greater regret, the things we did or the things we never did. The elderly people were asked, if you could live your life over, what would you do differently? 
staggering 54% regretted all the things they missed out on or wish they had done. What they discovered is that the regret we feel from having bad decisions we've made in the past, it only lasts a few weeks or months or even maybe a couple years. But the regret we experience from the things we missed out on lasts a lifetime. It's almost as if you're sitting behind the wheel of a car with no destination in mind until the moment you write your goals. <laughs> I was about to pick this up as my pen. <laughs> write your goals. All of a sudden, it's like you've programmed your GPS and now you know where to go. Almost instantly, your life will begin to move in the direction of the words in your journal. I'm serious, it's that important. So don't come to the end of your life with feelings of regret for not living your dreams. Don't let that be you, right? Write your dreams and goals. Number three is to make positive affirmations. Your voice is the most influential voice in your life. If you wanna see where your life is headed, listen to the words that are coming out of your mouth. God's word says that death and life are in the power of the tongue. So are you saying things like, I could never afford something like that. That's just too expensive for me. Or I can't lose weight no matter what I try. Or I could never live in a house like that. Let me remind you, this is the most powerful tool you have. It's your mouth. You can't speak negative words and live a positive life. You can't say, I'm fit, firm, and muscular. I'm in the best shape of my life. And then look in the mirror and say, why am I so fat? I hate my thighs. I hate the way I look. I'm humiliated. No. You know, that's no different than calling Domino's Pizza and say, send me a pizza. And then 10 minutes later, you call back and say, never mind, I changed my mind, don't send it. And then you call back and say, no, 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 send me the pizza. And then you call them back and say, never mind, keep the pizza. Give me the pizza and be quiet, right? <laughs> no, the Bible says, call things that be not as though they already are. You have to do this. You know, Jim Rohn says, you can't hire someone else to do your push-ups. You and only you can do this for yourself. So I highly encourage you to begin your declarations with I am. For example, start declaring. In fact, I, I put a list of declarations in your download. But start declaring, I am healthy. I am beautiful inside and out. I am confident. I am courageous. I am on time everywhere I go. I'm energetic. I'm committed to this lifestyle of discipline. I'm enthusiastic about life. See, the more you commit to the discipline, the more skepticism will fade and your faith will start to align with your words. If you'll change what you're saying, you'll change what you're seeing, right? So, again, in your free downloaded, I listed some of my personal favorite declarations to get you started. So click the link in the description and get that list along with the six habits and the four bonus habits of the most successful people in the world. There's a lot in your download this week, but all you have to do is click the description and you can get that. Number four is have a routine, morning and night. First, get plenty of sleep. Research supports seven to nine hours on average is what you need to aim for. Getting seven to nine hours, it boosts your productivity, your creativity, your energy, your focus. The right amount of sleep is what gives you the energy to be the most productive. So not only do you need a morning routine, but a nightly routine. So set a time each night to go to bed and do your best to stick to it. Routines are how you stay consistent and efficient, right? Personally, I aim to go to bed around 9 p.m. every night unless I'm traveling and I get up at five. The secret of your future is in your daily routine. Now this includes respecting your body to give it sufficient, consistent rest. Okay, number five, get some exercise. I know, but think about it. Dave Ramsey says, if you wanna be successful, study successful people. Well, research shows that successful people exercise. 76% of the most wealthy people exercise. So whatever your reason is, you know, a special occasion, a revenge body, people who exercise for health reasons are more likely to make it a lifestyle than those who just do it for appearance. Successful people exercise because it helps them be their best. So I wanna encourage you to start small. Start with something. It could seriously be 20 jumping jacks every day, but you refuse to miss those jumping jacks. By the end of the year, you will have done 7,300 jumping jacks. Think about that. Or maybe you could even go for a 20 minute walk on your lunch break. Do you realize 20 minutes a day is 10 hours a month? So think of documenting that, 10 hours a month 
You know, I have a friend who began doing this just 20 minutes every day. She just focused on losing one pound a week. She lost over 52 pounds in the year. Okay, number six is to journal your prayer time. Now, if you choose to start your morning routine with only one habit, this is the one that will alter the course of your life forever in the best way possible. Now, I've shared this habit many times, but my dad always taught me, take two things into your prayer time, a journal and a pen, and practice hearing God's voice. God wants to speak to you even more than you wanna listen. But see, years ago, I had no idea that successful people keep a journal. Jim Rohn said, a life worth living is a life worth recording. And God said, write all the words I've spoken to you in a book. So start with five minutes a day. I'm telling you, you're gonna have peace, wisdom, direction for your life, ideas that could produce millions of dollars. You're gonna avoid wrong relationships, gain strength, discipline. Why would we not spend five minutes a day with God? Just think, five minutes is better than no minutes. So I hope you enjoyed this today. Be sure to get the four bonus habits of the most successful people in the world in your free download. Just click the link in the description and you can start today. And thank you for watching. I appreciate you so much and I'm cheering you on to live your dreams. Hey YouTube, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and to get more inspirational content, click one of these videos right here. And remember, I'm cheering you on to live your dreams.